Good morning. Um, I'd like to look over um, and do for you problem number four from another book on homework 18.2. The problem states that there are four charges Q. I'm just going to use capital Q for no other reason than it's easy. Um, and they are at the corners of a square whose side length is L. All charges are the same. Q, we don't know what they are, but they are the same value of Q. And um, we're interested in knowing the net force on any one of the four charges. I'm going to give them names, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4, just so I can talk to you about the forces that each charge exerts on the one in question. The one in question is going to be this one. I, I could have focused on any of them, but I chose Q4. Q3 is going to repel Q4, and so there's going to be a force F3-4 on Q4 due to Q3. And similarly, there's going to be a, char a force F1-4 from charge 1 on charge 4. Um, I can calculate those, but I can only calculate them in terms of Q, K, and R, or in this case, L. But I can just, those can be expressed with Coulomb's law, and I will do that in a minute. Before I do, I'd like to remind you that I can pick this vector up and place it here um, because what I'm about to draw in green is the net force on Q4 from the blue and the red, okay? So the green represents the, the sum, actually, the vector sum of the blue and the red. So, and it's, of course, just the square root of A squared plus B squared because it's a right triangle. Um, quickly, F14 equals K, Q, Q over R squared. But in this case, of course, the Qs are identical, and so I can express this as KQ squared, and the distance R is L, so I'm gonna call that L squared. Likewise, this is the same as F34, okay? So both the red vector and the blue vector have this value right here. The green vector, of course, is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Okay, so I just distributed the square. I mean, you could probably have done this in your head, many of you, but for those of you that it's easier to see it, I distributed the square to each component inside the parentheses. I got Q, K squared, Q to the fourth, over L to the fourth, and of course this is the same thing. When you add them together, you just get 2K squared, Q to the fourth, over L to the fourth, and the square root of all that is of course root two times KQ squared over L squared. So that is what the green vector equals. Okay. So we have taken care of two, the force on Q4 due to these two charges, but we still have Q2 in the lower left corner. Um, now, again, they're all identical charges, so they are going to be repulsive. And so there's a little more force actually acting in exactly the same direction on Q4 that is represented by the purple vector that comes from the effect of charge Q2. Um, let's calculate that. I'm going to call that F24. And F24 is going to equal K, Q squared, QQ, over the distance squared. Well, of course, this distance is the square root of L squared plus L squared which is 2L squared, and the square root of 2L squared, of course, is root 2L. So the length of the diagonal is root 2L. So I'm going to write root 2L. I'm going to square that because, of course, Coulomb's law is KQQ over R squared. So I square the distance, and when I do so, I get uh, KQ squared over, let's see, the square root of root 2 is 2, 
and the square root of L is L squared. And oh my goodness, I could have written this as one half because dividing by two is the same as multiplying by one half. I could have written this as <coughs> KQ squared over L squared times one half. Now, we are gonna add these two together and because they are in the same direction, I don't have to play any vector games, I simply add them up. So the, the final answer, the net force, or the sum of all forces, if you like, is going to be um, root two times kq squared over l squared plus one half k q squared over L squared, and of course, the KQ squared over L squared is a common factor, and I can factor it out, and I'm left with, now I think the way it's written in the footer of your document is one half plus root two. Of course, the way I wrote it here, I probably have written root two plus a half, but whatever, transitive property of addition, doesn't matter the order in which you add. Um, here we are, we're off, and we're running. We're gonna actually box that up. And we are done.